New Sunny V video. The satisfying end of TikTok's stupidest criminal. That is the title. Don't know what's going on. New video. Let's jump right on it. Gain context together. Let's see what's happening in this bitch. I see why it thought he was too famous to be arrested. Put both your hands out the window. I don't know who I am. Yet his 1.4 million followers failed to help anything, as TikTok's dumbest criminal has been in jail for almost a full year. To introduce the type of guy he is, I see why it was employed before TikTok. Had a job, I worked at McDonald's. Yet a family member exposed him, stating, he worked there for a week and showed up one day and they were like, why are you here? He found out the previous day he showed up to work so high on Xanax that he got fired and he didn't remember any of it. Thankfully for Wyatt, however, a work ethic wasn't needed for his genre of TikTok content. Simply wow, that's quite a twist. Also, thank you for saying that, Sonny. That is pretty much uh, what kind of applies to a lot of internet content. Uh, work ethic is not really needed. Consistency, which you could argue is encapsulated into the work ethic, right? Just showing up, doing it over and over again. But in terms of the output, the effort, the attempt, or the, the trying aspect of content creation, especially on a place like TikTok now. I mean, it's, it's a short form content platform that is designed to get people to watch for a small amount of time and keep sifting through, just brain rot. They, they call it doom scrolling, is that the name? Them kids be using? Yeah, this is a, we're not gonna hear good shit because that type of platform, that type of content, you're gonna, it would make sense why it would facilitate personalities like these becoming such a pervasive force on the platform, right? 1.4 million followers, goddamn. People like the stuff he makes. Yeah, one point, nearly 1.5 million people are willing to click the subscribe button or the follow button to stay updated on what this guy's doing or the type of content this guy's making. Oh God, get ready for some degeneracy. I don't think it's gonna be good. I think I'm familiar with this guy now that he's seen his face. Something about like a traffic accident or hitting someone with a car or getting into some violence on the street or some shit. I think this is the guy. Could be wrong, we'll have to see what's going on. So tell it how it is, Sonny, tell me what's going on here. His genre of TikTok content, simply being a feminine man who was attracted to women. If I had a girlfriend, hair, nails, new bag, because I wanna take care of my girl. I'll be so proud to have a girlfriend and I wanna be obsessed with her. That was his very first TikTok and it gained over 8 million views, fueled by people wondering if he was actually telling the truth. I see- Also that's, not to say I don't believe that he has that type of money. I mean, granted, if that's his first TikTok, where'd you get it from? Especially if you had to apply to work at a place like McDonald's. But also it's like, I don't have a problem with the, in that case, the crazy amount of income. It's just, Bothers me when that's what you use it for, really? Gonna make that much money and spend it on garbage? To facilitate people's egotistical desires? Yucky, yucky poo poo. Imagine if that money was in the hands of somebody who actually knew how to use it properly. <laughs> I know, I'm tooting my own horn here. I'd be making movies, I'd be making music, television, all that type of stuff. I'd be putting it back into something, turning it into more so that I can get more stuff out to people, so that I can do the stuff that I want to be doing. It's crazy, it's just you have to find a way to curate people's attention, and that worked, right? Getting 8 million followers or views for that first goddamn, t oh my god. I've uploaded TikToks before, the absolute most I've ever gotten was like a few thousand. Now, it's, 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 it's just interesting what determines people to click on something. Is it like, because you're, I, I'm not too familiar with TikTok, I know it's just you're scrolling, right? I don't think there is sort of like with YouTube, there's just a grid of stuff for you to choose based on them pitching the idea of the video to it. I think it's sort of you just come across it, right? I don't know. Maybe they're propping them up if that's the case. 8.5 million? God damn. God damn it. Wow. These are the types of people who are able to succeed. So what does that say about people who get into those positions? What does that say about what that entails? Really? It, yeah, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty poopy, poopy scoop. But here we are talking about it, so. But at least, according to the title of this video, right, the satisfying end of TikTok's stupidest criminal. If it's a satisfying end, prepare to be satisfied. Give us the news, Sunny V2.
asking if he was actually telling the truth. Icy White fed into this to achieve a repeat audience with videos as simple as people who don't understand that I can be femme and still like girls, giving him hundreds of thousands of likes. Wyatt funneled this attention into bingo gambling sponsorships. I am the king of bingo. I am the king of gambling. And then scolded the audience because they weren't as rich as him. I make $800,000 a month year. You're not even near my tax bracket. Google me. You can see my net worth. Maybe White had an ego as he'd previously been in jail. And I've been to jail like multiple times. Which the audience quickly realized he most definitely deserved. Because a user named KD Nail Artistry uploaded a TikTok explaining she was the one who did Wyatt's nails and he agreed to pay me from the start at a price of $200 for three different sessions. Well, rather than paying, he wrote me a check from a closed bank account. He also knew I was in nail school at the time, so not only was Wyatt a total scumbag, but it also seemed he wasn't as rich as he professed. Despite this, Wyatt only kept on- Yeah, I was about to say, where the hell did you get that from? I don't know, I mean, be surprised the internet kind of presents a rather, uh, seemingly more accessible way of acquiring exponential income all of a sudden, but you have to find very particular nuanced ways of doing such. I guess we gotta get informa more information as to how this guy accumulated that. But also, just side note, and this is just a preference thing. The nails. <laughs> no. I think it's like, I think it's kind of, kind of grody. I think it's kind of, just, I don't know what it is. I think it's just a personal taste thing. And if you like that type of thing, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I don't like it. It doesn't matter if people do like it. It just, none of it matters. But it's just, I don't know. It's just weird. A very interesting aesthetic choice that I kind of find gross. Cause you use your hands a lot. You use them for every basic thing. And like cleanliness is a huge part of that, but also like, cause your hands allow you to interact with the world around you. Imagine just, how do you grip? It seems like it's prone to break. Like it's being a nail salon person, be like, oh, you got another chip nail. Oh, wow, I'm so surprised. It's not almost as if you use your hands for virtually everything. <laughs> it's just weird. I don't know, just a tiny little quip, but. Despite this, Wyatt only kept on bragging. Gee, I sure do look like the disappointment of the family. But isn't it funny how I make the most money? Sit down. Believing that you'll get much further in life by cutting off all the toxic people and focusing on becoming the main character. Wyatt seemingly went against his own advice and began dating a girl named Moore with whom he started to spend irresponsible amounts of money. Okay, so baby got her vans. Hey, you know, I had to give me one too. Stop playing with some vans babies now. Wyatt had his Mercedes wrapped in hot pink while Moore's Mercedes was crashed within a month, introducing everyone to Wyatt's terrible drive history. He had to move out of California solely because of driving offenses. The reason why I went to Florida was because I couldn't drive here. I had like so many traffic tickets <laughs> and like <laughs> driving on suspended license, oh DUIs, everything. So I went to Florida and I got my license mm -hmm. and it was perfectly fine. And would upload an old video of his own road rage incident, trying to look tough with the title Don't Play With Me TF. Wyatt was clearly proud of being a terrible human. And normally sucks already and we're only three minutes in but also it's not just that this guy the platform there's a platform it's presumably indifferent i don't know if the tiktok algorithm's pushing somebody like this especially if you can get fucking email in your goddamn first tiktok but in order for someone like this to succeed he needs people to want him to succeed to prop him up to to, to watch his shit to give him attention if he's putting that uh, that want out there to acquire that attention and people are responding. What does that say about the people who listen to him who actually want to support someone like this? He's, he's broadcasting right up, up in front and center how crappy of a person he is and people like that. Otherwise, why wouldn't they, why would he have all the, what he has? Why wouldn't he, why would he have the immense degree of influence? Which that's a lot, 1.4 million, that's a lot of people. What does that say about people? The people who are watching them. Not good things. This is the guy you like. What does that say about you? Ooh, goo, goo. Also, it's kind of weird. It's weird, really weird for someone to be feminine and for them to like girls. It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just, guys, stop thinking that everything is where it should be. <laughs> things don't mean shit. They just mean whatever the fuck they mean, okay? Oh, you're, you do the ditzy weird ass. Oh, girl, get your bins. 
get your Prada. That guy's definitely gay. Why? Because he speaks like that? That's what it means to be gay? I thought you have to be attracted to men to be gay as a man. If you're a male and you're attracted to other males from masculine features, then that makes you homosexual. How does that have any bearing on whether or not you walk with, with a swing to your hips or you do this? Or speak like this? That was kind of a butchered southern accent, but it's fun. <laughs> Another thing I kid about, I want to just roast <laughs> different states. Guy from California, California is goddamn, but then he chooses to relocate to Florida. Oh man, what does that say about him? <laughs> I know, I'm hesitant to say it to offend people, but I don't give a shit. Come on, those places suck. Florida and California, no, don't live there. They live in a lot of places in America, but it's funny how someone like him chooses to go to those places. Oh shit, I got, I got kicked out of California. I don't even kicked out, but it's like I can't drive in California, and if you want to exist in California, you're probably going to have to be able to drive. Shit, I guess I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. What's a good place? Florida. Oh, great. Great choice. All the guns and the, the freaking backwards values and all the crazy people and all the violence and the terrible weather, the, the gross, hot, moist weather, the crocodiles living in people's pools. Great place. Yeah, let's go get a driver's license there. I don't care if it's hurting somebody. Like, dude, just make it fun of people. And I don't really care if it, if it does offend. It's like, who, like, come on. All the stuff I'm saying, is that really too far-fetched? Where do you think the stereotype Florida man comes from? Now, that's a generalization, but, like, come on. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Well, we're gaining more context, and the small amount of context we've already acquired is not... It sucks. This guy already sucks, so let's see his satisfying downfall. Tell me all about it, Sonny. Being a terrible human. And normally I'm not that nice. Normally it doesn't matter who you are, I will be like, shut the f up. I don't want to hear about that. Please stop talking about that. Next subject. And nothing solidified this more than a video he accidentally posted. He'd already given the audience a tour of his house, but it was specifically on this house's front walkway that he'd kick his girlfriend out by throwing away all of her possessions. Wyatt claimed the video was posted accidentally and the couple quickly reconciled, but the pink Mercedes seen back in the tour was about to be another problem. 25 days after getting the car, he'd post this TikTok looking all bruised and battered, which came with a tweet reading, I'm gonna get some rest and try and recover. My face is in so much pain and the rest of my body. Wyatt then gave some context. He claimed that two white hillbillies attacked him unprovoked. I was hate crimed in Florida. I was attacked by two men. My car was stuck between like a Chick-fil-A line they backed me in so that they could both come out and come on either side of my car and attack me describe like what they looked like, like older men Big, like our age fat hillbilly in like a white pickup truck that's yeah. what they look like and i'm in a pink mercedes with this type of nails yeah and when he called to report the hate crime police beat him further because he didn't take off his seatbelt. Yeah, should i do a story time about how i got ripped down my mercedes and my ass beat for trying to take my seatbelt off when they tell me to get out the car white had filmed his own snippet of the incident I can't take the seatbelt off. You need to show some respect. Posting only what made him look like a victim with the caption, Sunrise County Police in Broward County ambushed me in my neighborhood hours after I had called for help in a road rage incident earlier in the day. They didn't send anyone to help me, but came to my house hours later and held me at gunpoint. This is not okay. Wyatt was clearly the victim here, right? Well, later that day, TMZ posted that- Probably not. I mean, given, not to say stuff like that doesn't happen and the motivations may be that, what he says, but I don't, someone like this, now garbage. Sorry, you've proven time and time again that you're just a bad person, you don't give a shit. I mean, that's kind of what's allowed you to get to where you are. And I guess to resonate with many people, again, what does that say about the fucking people who are supporting you, Jesus Christ. But like, I was hate crimed in Florida. Cops pointed their guns at me, all right? <laughs> Even if what you're saying is true, don't live in a place like Florida, you have money. Don't live in an in a American, in, a, in America if you don't want cops in, with guns. It's, it's my advice. <laughs> the gun capital of the fucking world. And you're just like, whoa, the, the cops, people have guns and it's dangerous, it's scary. And the more violent of a person I am, the more apt people are to react with that, with that violence, with violence and reciprocation to that. Oh, I'm so surprised. Really? Get the hell out of here. I don't even believe what you're saying, so. There's that. So you have to get past that first hurdle, which you, you failed. You slammed right fucking face first in that hurdle. Does that explain the bruises? The 
Look at my face, bruise. Oh, my face. Sorry, I'm in pain. I have to recover. Give me a sec. Shut your mouth. Gross. And guy, don't and fucking cut off your nails, dude. Gross. Get out of here. TMZ posted their own article. TikTok star Icy White arrested for battery on police officer, which clarified he was booked on Monday night for two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, one count of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, one count of battery on an officer, and one count of resisting arrest. Wyatt's innocence was suddenly in question, yet he continued to claim I was the victim. This was in self-defense, also adding I didn't batter the police. I was handed my phone, and then another officer ripped it out of my hand, and because I didn't release it right away, he said I assaulted him. On TikTok, White maintained it was all police's fault. The rumors are not true. There will be several news stories coming out soon about what actually happened. The police were in many wrongs. Until the body cam footage was publicly released. To nobody's surprise, White wasn't actually hate-crimed. It began with him parked in the middle of the street, yelling at a random lady, leading- So I had to say, that's a good counter. You got evidence, which you didn't show any of it. Here's the video footage. Here's the body cam footage. Great counter to that police. Now, Grant, I'm not a big fan of the, the, the policing standards in America, but it's like, you should always do that. Always release them. Never hide that shit. There's a lot of cases in which the police, also, the police do hide the body cam because it, it tends to be incriminating, especially when the self-investigation shit comes out. We've been report, we've investigated ourselves and noticed that we've done nothing wrong. But in something like this, it almost as if like it's retaliatory to what he's saying. I mean, it could just be unrelated, like, oh shit, this is just standard procedure, let's release the body cam. But there's a lot of other instances where, no, they're held onto it for court reasons or legality reasons. Oh, but here you go, counter. Oh, you're saying we battered you? You're saying we're, we're abusive? You say you're the victim? Here, here's the body cam footage. Let's see. Let's see what the body cam footage entails if he goes over that. Let's see. East. To nobody's surprise, White wasn't actually hate crimed. It began with him parked in the middle of the street, yelling at a random lady, leading the two white hillbillies to stand up for the woman. They politely told White to get back in the car, stop blocking traffic, to which White responded by pistol whipping them, throwing a drink on their car, and driving erratically in front of them. <laughs> There you go, evidence. Also, I guess I do recognize this. This is the thing that I recognize this guy from. What a great reputation. <laughs> but it's like, I don't know, man. What, f like, there's clearly something so rotten about the facilitation of this. The fact that someone like this can not only exist, like, hap as a, like result, all this stuff that happened in this person's life to result in this person being who they are, but also for them to be propped up by their environment, for them to find ways to not only exist but to persevere this person has money this person's living in a place like florida granted i know the living cost in florida is smaller but like usually how much the average income kind of equates to that well not not very let's not get into that uh, you know it's corruption and shit like that but for someone like him to make as much money as he does doing whatever the fuck he does which is tiktok content and other stuff associated with that because i don't think you're off of TikTok alone, I think you have to make money through other avenues, other ways of monetizing your TikTok page. I don't think you can make that off of just running ads and shit. I don't think it's like YouTube, but I'm not too familiar with TikTok. But it just, it's gross. The reality of it all, all this stuff amounting to this. They're, I'll get your bag, get your Prada, don't hate crime me, I'm a pistol whip you hillbillies, stuff like that. It's like, I don't know, man. For people like this to exist, I don't think they just come out of nowhere. I think this shit has to sort of be curated. Not saying from like the corruption stuff, but more so just like the certain influences and forces pushing people in certain directions to cause this. Like, America is very unique in that way. <laughs> very egotistical culture. As a result, you're going to get egotistical garbage people in positions of influence. Especially if people are just, like, think that this stuff's cool. I mean, why else would they be watching it? They didn't gain some type of value from what he was saying or the stupid shit that he's doing in his fucking TikToks. Jesus, man. It all sucks. <laughs> almost hitting a lady with her infant baby as he sped away from the scene. In a beautiful display of stupidity, Wyatt then called police himself reporting, I just pulled over because somebody just tried to kill me in the car. This truck came up and tried to cut me off. So I pulled over to the next lane and again he's trying to swerve into my lane and tried to hit the car, yet this is actually what he'd done to them. Wyatt then continued lying and then I had four guys jump out of the car and say, we're gonna beat the crap out of 
interview and stuff, failing to include that he'd pistol whipped them after. After speaking with these hillbillies, police discovered the truth, showing up at Wyatt's house to arrest him, where he'd speak the infamous line, y'all don't know who I am. Wyatt maintained I didn't hit nobody, claiming his girlfriend was there to confirm his story. So my girlfriend can't be a witness to uh, Was she uh, with you? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, we're, we can talk to her when she gets here. Moore then showed up to tell her side. Yet it was later shown by this frame that Moore wasn't even there at the time. Wyatt's final defense of having a gun was because he drove a bright pink car who is famous online and gets messed with on the freeways all the time, as if it's been a lifelong issue and he didn't just buy the car four weeks before. He added, I have millions of followers. People make this stuff up all the time, to which the cop responded, Not everybody knows who you are. Prompting Wyatt to add, I have 58 million followers. Everybody who's been on TikTok or Instagram has seen who I am. Before spending the night in jail, Wyatt bragged about his jewelry. You know this is some 80,000 on a team that went person, right? Being released the following day and posting a celebratory TikTok. You can't get rid of me, bitch! Wyatt then called the paparazzi on himself to claim the don't you know who I am phrase was referring to him being the one who called police. I called the police okay. and told them that this whole altercation happened. So right. when they pulled up, I said, don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? Bragging about his followers was due to his head injury. I'm thinking, yeah, you're lying. Dude, this guy, oh my God, there's so much wrong. <laughs> lying, violent, like... Abusive. I don't know. I mean, it's a, granted, there's only so even just off of this, it's fair to it's a it's an, uh, an assumption, but I don't think it's too far fetched given the standard this person holds himself to. So egotistical, so self absorbed, so just 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 shitty, just bad. But I think it's more so a reflection of just the culture and people in general. The fact that their actual paparazzi are willing to show up and hear what he has to say just because he's known in a certain way to these certain people in this certain platform. Oh God. Oh man, if this, if people, I don't know, yeah. People like him are able to evade comeuppance if they were more intelligent or not intelligent, but if they knew how to do such. There are ways and there are more accessible ways for people like him to get out of it, right? He has money. He's able to make moves that are motivated by having money. Where like his ego doesn't just come from nowhere for the most part. I don't think that's the case. I think for a lot of people, even if they're faking it, right? I don't know. Confidence, you usually need a track record of something that you can refer to to make yourself feel a certain way. You can fake that type of stuff, sure. But like, you don't need to if like you have the money and all those things, right? He, he legitimately, he probably legitimately believes in the shit that he tells himself and the stuff that he says because it's been reinforced to him by his environment, the people around him, the people that support him that have afforded this lifestyle for him as a result of him putting himself out there. This is how people have responded to him with influence with fucking resources finances that type of crap it's it's it sucks man it really does that's that's one big takeaway from this people like this doesn't just exist in an isolated sense in a vacuum like this there's shit that motivates these things these things land as a result of these things pushing them in that particular way this guy being known for what he does and who he is and all the stuff that he has. There's got to be people, there's people out there who know him for those things and are willing to go out of their way to support and watch his shit. It's, it's, it's garbage, man. It sucks. To his head injury. I'm not slurring my words okay. until they slam my head on the ground. Then I'm like, oh, I have 58 million followers. Which was covered by a brand new tattoo of his girlfriend's name on his face. Despite treating the arrest like one massive joke, Wyatt was in serious trouble. So yeah, I might be facing 20 years in prison because of this name. Yet he'd still post TikToks such as this one. All right, y'all. Do y'all think I should get this 2021 Range Rover or should I get a G-Wagon? Leading to many comments mocking him. If I were facing up to 20 years, I don't think looking for a new vehicle would be at the top of my list of things to do. Additionally, because Wyatt was now awaiting trial. If I got pulled over. Guys, the solution is just don't watch his shit. Don't give him attention. Don't comment on his shit. Like disregard his existence. Don't acknowledge it. You're reinforcing it. Even, even if it's bad publicity, right? The saying all publicity is good publicity or whatever the fuck. It's true. Attention is the bottom line. 
Doesn't matter if it's good or bad, doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, as long as he gets people's eyes to, to be glued on the screen or on his shit, that's the thing that matters. So just stop, just step away, fuck this guy, unfollow, block him on, on every social media, don't watch a video, well, I mean, here we are, right? Talking about him in a goddamn documentary. <laughs> I'm here to try to monetize that. Hi, I'm, I'm part of the problem, baby. <laughs> Get your bag, get your Prada, get your fucking nails, get your fucking... Oh, yeah, it's... I'm sorry. Sorry for everything. <laughs> Nothing I did, personally. I mean, I can tell you, yes. Indirectly contributing. But, I mean, just sorry for existence. I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck this. Fuck this guy. Fuck the, the reality that made this, this guy this way and people know this guy for what he does and all that stuff. Ooh, gross. All right, we're almost there. Few more minutes. Uh, if I got pulled over, I could get the maximum sentence, 10 yeah. years. Leading to a TikTok beef with his very own mother. She simply gave Wyatt the most obvious advice ever. She's like, well, you know you're not supposed to be driving. If you get pulled over, you're gonna go to jail for 10 years, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, girl, can we talk about this another time? Like, I'm really not trying to hear about this. She's like, okay, well, I'll talk to you about it later. Then I'm like, no, I don't ever wanna talk to you about it unless I bring it up because that's something that triggers me. Leading to their relationship completely falling apart. They'd publicly argue back and forth about anything and everything, although Wyatt failed to take any of her advice. Because during this period of waiting for his sentence, Wyatt- But also, why are you doing that? Are we not to point blame, and not to say that just because his mom did some things here or there, that this is the inevitable outcome of that type of parenting, but it's like, it may have some effect, some influence on the outcome of how this guy ended up the way that he did. Why are you arguing with him on a fucking public platform? Why aren't you just talking to him on a fucking... You can make videos about these tar particular things and talk and talk, but if... Uh, okay. And I'm, I'm a little bit... This is where I sort of pause in my tracks, because I am a little bit culpable for something like that, especially if you have some emotional investment in whatever it is that's going on, but... I don't know. It seems... A little... It seems immature. And I am culpable for that, which makes me a little bit immature. Uh, We'll see a video uh, and, and eventually maybe that'll come out, but it's uh, it's just, yeah, interpersonal relationship stuff. It's just weird. And they have spoken about it, I guess. And maybe, maybe here, I'll try to give her benefit of the doubt. Maybe simply talk to him on the phone. Clearly, if he's responding like that, oh, I don't want to ever talk about this unless I bring it up. It's triggering. That's my excuse for more degrees of lack of accountability. So maybe she's tried to interact with him one on one and she's like, oh, it didn't work. So I guess I'm just going to share my my opinion on this and maybe benefit from it. <laughs> get more followers on my TikTok, get more people to listen to what I have to say about this guy. Hey man, it's a fucking wild waste out there, sure, what, go for it man, get your bag, get your Prada, get your G-Wagon, take advantage of the way things are man, might as well. It's already in the shitter. Not, not much you could do other than just try to siphon some value from the shitter. The shittiness, the shitting. In this period of waiting for his sentence, Wyatt's stepdad proudly announced he got into an altercation and keyed a car while he was out on bail. As a result, Wyatt was rearrested to be jailed until his trial, predicting just beforehand he wouldn't be in for long. I'm looking at probably a month's time in $10,000. However, three months passed without a word about his trial and his plan to work out every day didn't exactly happen. Cause I'ma just be working out the whole time. As he'd tell his girlfriend via jail phone, he'd gained 40 pounds or 18 kilos. In the process, Wyatt was facing other issues. Have you gotten in a- Did you see that comment? I know, I'm dying to know. No, you shouldn't be. Pay attention to something else. Focus on yourself, improve your own life. Stop giving people like this your free fucking attention. Oh my goodness, drama. I'm so invested in this. Stop it, people, stop it, stop. This, a documentary about it, you watching the video through me or just watching this video, that should be the extent of it. Don't follow this guy on his social media, don't fucking post about it on forums, yada yada. Just take in the information, oh shit, now I know this thing, and then move on with your life. That's the way it should be. Ironically, not doing that, doing the opposite of what I, all the, doing the contrary of that and doing the thing that I was just talking about, you know, giving you more attention, is reinforcing it is helping with the delusion, helping with everything remain the same. So, just, just cut it, cut it out, guys. To the people who do that. Have you gotten in a fight since you've been in there? 
I was attacked. As Moore finds out why it will be serving at least two years. I know I was being Delulu, like thinking that this was gonna be like quick and easy and that you were gonna be home soon. The reality is just like very much like hitting me now. Despite this, Moore had Icy Wyatt tattooed on her neck, live streaming the session during which she'd get a call. On the phone was a debt collector asking for payments on a mattress. They've got all this money apparently, but can't buy a mattress outright. Wyatt's mum then revealed they had payments on their cars, making it obvious they'd financed their whole life and were pretty much broke. Two months ago, Wyatt vocalized being worried about the- uh, To the moms, why are you, uh, you paid, from what I gather, if, that, if, I'm, if I'm understanding this correctly, you paid for that? What's wrong with you? Oh my goodness. It's starting to, to, our little nuggets of understanding are starting to collide here and there. Oh my goodness. And you're telling everyone about it on TikTok. Is that, oh God, are you part of the problem, lady? You do, is this, is it, do, you have, do you have a piece in this? Oh God, oh man. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this. We're, we're nearly at the end, let's keep going. Wyatt vocalized being worried about the cost of a phone call while his 40 pound weight gain has turned into 70. I gained 70 pounds since I've been here. Can you believe that? I've gained almost 100 pounds. As a last ditch effort, Wyatt sent the judge a letter stating, I feel absolutely terrible and ashamed for the way I handled things with these people. I'm not the type of person to hurt anyone or vandalize people's property. That just isn't who I am or who I want to be, but the judge didn't buy it. I see Wyatt still yet to be convicted, having spent 12 months in prison and lost absolutely everything simply because he couldn't hold his anger. And as usual, he doesn't feel, he doesn't give a shit, he doesn't feel bad, he's more lies, more manipulation, yada yada, he only cares that he's facing the comeuppance for his actions. <laughs> That's the only thing he cares about. Oh, it's affecting my livelihood, it's affecting my bottom line, that's why I feel bad. You don't give a shit about what you did, oh my god. There's a lot of people like this in the world. And it's not just the fact that people like this exist, because that's inevitable. It's the fact that people can be, be able to do these types of things, be able to get seen to this extent, for people to know them to this extent, to have their lifestyle and their garbage, light, like, just actions be incessantly facilitated because they just found a way to traverse the environment in a way that benefits them that reinforces that li their livelihood in this particular way. Oh my God, oh shit. Oh.